speaking in tongues series, the Y series, 7 of 11. This is the continuation from uh, series 6 of 11. No wonder the Bible commands us not to speak in tongues in church publicly if there is no one to interpret the tongues. Unless someone interprets so that the church may be edified. If anyone speaks in a tongue, let there be two or at the most three, each in turn, and let one interpret. So this is just the continuation of the uh, previous. So whenever this happens, unless you are just uh, a group of uh, church saints and no one is to come in the congregation, that's fine, probably. But whenever there is an, an, uh, the, whenever there is a, a chance that someone might pop in and uh, that person doesn't really know and uh, they don't speak in tongues and they don't probably believe in tongues, then they might miss out. So the best way is to find an interpreter when that happens or just speak to yourself as the previous uh, uh, series 6 says speak to yourself which means speak it within you and no one will be here what you be speaking about it's because we see here tongues are mainly and they the advantage for anyone who speak them to be edified so it is advantage for us to use tongues when we use them in the right place at the right time then we are guaranteed that we will be edified and built when we speak in tongues